Hello and a hearty welcome to today's video. I've got another topic for you and I want to talk to you uh, today about morning routines. And I don't mean the typical type of morning routine when you, for example, have kids and you are just rushing around, getting them ready for school. And yes, if you've got some kind of routine that might uh, function a little bit better. No, I'm actually talking about a morning routine that you can do for yourself so that you feel good and that you show yourself that you have um, yeah, respect for yourself, that you have self-love. And that's what I want to explore with you. My name is Dominika Hansch and I'm glad that you're here with me. Well, morning routines are a very special thing. Yes, they are in a way really, really good, really, really cool. Why is that? Because um, we have our brain functions in a certain way and we have, um, yeah, the, it happens during the day that as the day progresses, we come into a process called decision fatigue. So if we have to make lots of decisions, we come into this decision fatigue where we can't really decide anymore and we are tired and we're feeling um, not energized. And when we have a routine, it actually helps us because when we run on a routine, we don't have to decide because the decision has already been made. So having a routine, doing every day the same thing helps us because we avoid decision fatigue because we keep our energy for decisions for a later time when it's really needed, when we're working on our major projects or we're working on our major uh, uh, things that we want to achieve. So that's quite important and the morning routine can help us therefore because when we have a routine, we don't need to decide, it's already clear what will happen. But what I want to explore with you here is not how you get your kids to school in a super smooth way. I rather want to talk about what you can do for yourself and what impact that has on your day. So, of course, you could have a super smooth morning routine with your kids. You get up, you get ready yourself, then you wake up your kids and you prepare breakfast while they get dressed and when they come down with their school stuff, um, you actually have already breakfast prepared, they're eating, you're making um, the lunch uh, packages for school and then you shuffle them in the car to the school bus so that they're ready to go to school. And when you're back home, you're feeling the first time <sighs> exhausted <laughs> because uh, there was so much to do, so much to organize, uh, so much to get ready. Or even worse, you have to get ready yourself now to go to your nine to five job and uh, be productive. The thing I want to talk about in a morning routine is actually what are you doing for yourself? So what is it that you really want to achieve? So maybe you know about the value that meditation has on your life and that having a calm and quiet mind actually helps you to be more relaxed, to be more energized, to be more in your zone during the day. Or maybe you consider actually exercising in the early morning because you know that when you've exercised in the morning, you don't have this bad feeling at evening when you're totally exhausted just uh, getting on your sofa because you don't want to move any, anything anymore. So putting that into the morning will help you to actually feel energized, feel good about you because you've already done the exercising and funnily enough the whole day becomes more active than you've exercised in the morning. Or maybe you have this dream of writing a book and you really want to um, spend time doing that but when you get home you're so tired and you're sitting in front of that white paper and nothing comes. <laughs> yeah, Or you don't even find the time to do that. And that's the thing. Can't you develop a morning routine that actually reflects what you want to do for yourself? So maybe get up an half an hour earlier and actually sit down for that meditation because meditating helps you to focus on your true self and be yourself. And then when you start the day with the kids, you're much more relaxed, you're much calmer and the a whole morning is a lot quieter, relaxed, better than the usual way. Yeah, or you actually say, "Well, I 
I need some movement. I need to move my joints so that I feel flexible, that I feel uh, good in my skin. Yeah, uh, You could do that in the morning when the house is still quiet. Go for a walk, go for a run. And when you come back, you are ready to start the day with your kids and um, get them ready for school. Or you actually spend some time, 30 minutes every morning, to actually write something to just sit down and write. And you might think, well, 30 minutes, that, that's not much, right? Well, but if you count that together, yeah, 30 minutes every day means three and a half hours per week. Maybe you get even a little bit more done during weekends so that you manage to finish uh, 20 hours of writing during a month. That's quite a lot because it just sums up, right? So um, you could finish your book at some time. It's a lot more than not doing anything because you're feeling too tired at night. And we always underestimate how much uh, we can actually achieve with little chunks of time. Okay? So sitting down 30 minutes every single day has actually a profound impact on your day because you've just shown yourself this is an important task, this is an important topic, this is something I really, really want, this is important to me. And then it opens up other space during the day where you think like, oh, I could sit down now, I could do that now, I could focus on that because I've, I'm really progressing on that chapter. And you have this feeling, oh, wow, yeah, I'm progressing, I'm doing something for myself, I'm worth it, I'm evaluating my points as very strongly. And the thing is, when you are happy, when you think you achieve something, when you feel like your life is yeah, strong, it's, it's, it's really great, then you actually give that to other people. You encourage them, you motivate them, and you um, have this calm, this relaxed array around you, and that's um, reflecting on other people. So spending time on yourself, uh, caring for yourself, in the morning actually makes your day a lot brighter every single day and it helps you to uh, actually make brighten the day of other people yeah so spending time for yourself and the thing is if you do if you do lots of things that you just need to do because kids need to go, be in school and you need to be at work at this point in time and so on your day starts like oh my this same thing again you're 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 like, like sleepless in Seattle. You have this constant flow of things that you can't do anything about. But if you actually decide to get up half an hour earlier, to do something for yourself, to have your morning routine that helps you start in the day, it's a totally different feeling. Yes, you feel good about yourself and now you're ready to rock it. Doesn't matter whether it's your own business or whether it's a job in uh, some kind of company where you're giving your best because you've done something for yourself and now you're ready to rock the day. And that's the thing. So you might say, well, but I don't want to get up at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, can't I do something else? Well, actually, your routine doesn't have to be that long. It doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't have to be half an hour. It could be 10 minutes. It could be even shorter. Yeah, Thinking about the most... Yeah, important things you could do, like meditation, like movement, like journaling. Yeah, You could fit that in into five minutes. How? Well, whilst you're actually cooking your coffee or making your tea, um, you could actually stretch on the, uh, or t uh, on the kitchen counter Yes, to have some movement. And then you could sit down um, in front of your tea and just meditate for two minutes. What do you want this day to be like? How do you want to go through this day? What is your intention of the day? What's, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to do? Meditate about that. And then uh, finish it off with um, writing down your affirmation of the day. Yes, I want to be calm uh, this day. And that's your mantra, that's your affirmation throughout the day that you want to reflect. Hey, that's a five minute morning routine, but it's, it's making a difference because you show yourself that you count and that what, what's important to you counts. Okay, and that also gives you um, yeah, a, a nice idea of what you do when, for example, you, you've overslept yeah? or you have so much work to do that you don't have that hour time for your morning routine. What do you do? Do you just skip it? No, don't skip it. Just make it a five-minute morning routine. Just shorten it. 
Yeah, because you show yourself, I'm worth it. I'm worth this morning routine. And if I don't have an hour, hey, I take myself half an hour or I take myself 10 minutes or I give myself those five minutes. Just think about it. Because if you give yourself those five minutes and even if you just written five minutes on your book, it adds up in the end and it gives you a good feeling. I've done something for my majorly important topic. That's what's, that's what's important for me. And then that reflects on the day, how you are to other people, how you approach other work, how you decide what's important to you and how you feel in the evening because your major task, your major dream, you've progressed already in the morning and that gives you um, yeah, really good feelings. And that's what it's all about, right? Okay, I would love to hear from you in the comments. What is your morning routine? What is your experience? Have you changed it? Yeah, are you getting up earlier to start a new morning routine that will give you that good feeling of self-care, of looking after yourself, being there for yourself? I would love to hear from that, uh, from you in the comments. And yeah, I would love to see you next week again when there's a new video.